हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रेप दिस इज संजय राठी लेट मी नो दैट साउंड क्वालिटी पिक्चर क्वालिटी एवरीथिंग इज फाइन यस प्लीज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एनालॉग दैट इज अमिट ट्रिगर सर्किट एंड दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एनालॉग एंड इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ब्रांच हाई गाइज एवरीथिंग इज फाइन रघुराम सत्यश्री तो हाँ यस सेशन अब स्टार्ट हो चुका है तो प्लीज ज्वाइन द सेशन एंड शेयर द लिंक ऑफ दिस सेशन ओके गाइस देन व्हाट अबाउट द सिमिट ट्रिगर तो दिस इज अ बेसिकली अ बायस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर एंड वी आर हैविंग द टू टाइप्स ऑफ डायग्राम राइट नॉर्मली द क्वेश्चंस ऑन दीज टू टाइप्स ऑफ डायग्राम वी विल डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरीथिंग अबाउट दीज टू डायग्राम एज वेल एज इन दिस सेशन यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द आइडिया अबाउट बायस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर राइट गाइज एंड सम क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक तो एवरीवन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग नो गाइस दिस इज अ एनालॉग सिमिट ट्रिगर एंड दिस इज माय इंट्रोडक्शन माइसल संजय राठी आई एम हैविंग अराउंड 21 प्लस इयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड आई हैव मेंटर्ड मोर देन 1 लाख स्टूडेंट्स फॉर दिस कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स ओके तो याद रखिए सम टॉपिक्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट हाईली एक्सपेक्टेड हाईली प्रोबेबल एंड सिमिट ट्रिगर इज वन ऑफ देम ओके तो प्लीज गेट द कमांड ओवर दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक If suppose question based on triangular wave generator, again you have to get the command over what concept of symmetry trigger. Yes, and this is my teaching experience, and on the basis of that, I have qualified in engineering services exam. These are my ranks: AIR sixteen in EAC two zero zero five, AIR twenty one in EAC two zero zero eight. Okay, please explain what is Ravi, sir. Please difference of the mono and bistable. Yes, I will explain in this. Right? Don't worry. And my dear friends. we are going to start what master msq series that is multiple select question series expected msq questions how to solve these questions and uh, what about the pattern right last year around 22 marks in electronics branch 22 marks means total 14 14 questions one mark question as well as two mark question so 22 out of 100 that is a huge weight right so weight is of this topic is very very important this pattern is very very important to get the command over this msq now today that is the schedule please everyone take a screenshot of this and that is the schedule now today rakesh talreja sir at 9 pm will take session on what digital electronics then network control analog signal and system machine power electronics edc and then power system communication and emt measurement so questions on all the topics that is the multiple select question okay then <coughs> sorry and this is a maha marathon on byju's exam prep app so please install byju's exam prep app now and register yourself so that it is a free classes maha marathon 8 hours by rakesh talreja sir and by ankit joshi sir okay on 21st jan and 22nd jan jan and that is the time 10 am to what up to 6 pm minimum 8 hours complete mathematics agar abhi tak aapne taiyar nahi kiya hai to bhi koi dikkat nahi hai do din mein pura math taiyar ho jayega aur 13 marks aap secure kar sakte hain out of 100 okay to ravi teja very good morning everyone welcome to the byju's exam prep the most comprehensive app for all exams now my dear friends first of all in this session we will discuss each and everything about the cement trigger but what is the cement trigger basically so we are having the multi vibrators three types of multi vibrators that is bi stable multi vibrator mono stable multi vibrator and a stable multi vibrator okay in every multi vibrator we are having the two levels two levels means what one is high level and one is what low level so high level is called one low level is called zero digitally so we are having the binary value one and zero high level means high voltage for example 15 volt low level means what minus 15 volt in case of operational amplifier 15 plus we said minus 15 minus we said so there are the two levels okay yes 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 can my right on 21st and 22nd january at 10 am to so mathematics complete mathematics okay so what is the bistable multi vibrator in bistable multi vibrator very simple because Symmetric trigger is a type of what bistable multi vibrator. Why this type of theory is important? 
डेफिनेटली इन एग्जाम दे विल आस्क एम एस क्यू एम एस क्यू मल्टीपल सेलेक्ट क्वेश्चन न्यूमेरिकल प्लस थियोरी रिमेंबर दिस थिंग नाउ इन एवरी मल्टीवाइब्रेटर वी आर हैविंग द टू आउटपुट जीरो एंड वन फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन एक्सटर्नल सिग्नल इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड ट्रिगर मीन्स वॉट अबाउट द जीरो जीरो इज स्टेबल विदाउट सिग्नल इट विल नॉट चेंज सिमिलरली वेन एट वन वेन वी आर एट वन when we are giving the trigger it will switch from 1 to 0 without trigger it is not possible and that's why it is also stable when we are giving the signal then it will change just like what switch so if symmetric trigger we are using the symmetric trigger as a switch i will explain there okay so that is the case so it is a bi stable multi vibrator for example flip flop or binary right what is a mono stable 0 to 1 trigger trigger means external input is required but 1 to 0 no trigger no trigger automatically it will switch from 1 to 1 to 0 and that's why it is stable and it is quasi stable it is quasi stable okay then this is the mono stable multi vibrator it is zero we are giving the trigger it will switch to 1 and after some time automatically it will switch to what zero and this time is fixed we can adjust this time tp this is called pulse width when we are giving the trigger it will switch to 1 again without trigger it will switch from 1 to 0 that is the mono stable and a stable multi vibrator means simply without trigger 0 to 1 1 to what 0 no trigger is required and that's why it is called free running multi vibrator and uh, we are generating what is square wave with the help of a stable multi vibrator 0 to 1 1 to 0 0 to 1 1 1 1 to 0 0 to 1 so how many states are stable zero states are stable but these are called what quasi stable states because we can set this time after uh, how much time it will remain at 1 after uh, then there will be the transition from 1 to 0 then 0 to 1 that is the t2 and t1 plus t2 is called time period of the signal and the reciprocal of this is called what frequency for t1 time it will remain at 1 for t2 time it will remain at 0 and so on this cycle will repeat and that's why it is called what is square wave generator or free running multi vibrator i think now the basic definition is clear okay now today we we are going to focus on what only bi stable multi vibrator my dear friends and after that i am going to take one very important session that is on rectifier precision rectifier are you interested Each and everything about the rectifier. First of all, passive rectifiers, half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier, bridge rectifier with filter. Number of conceptual question on that. And then, my dear friends, precision rectifier that is by using operational amplifier. Again, that is important topic. So on right, just after this session, I will uh, uh, on. I think that is on twenty first. So I will uh, sorry, on what twenty eighth, right? On twenty eighth at the same time, eleven p.m. 11 am morning so that is the bi stable multi vibrator mono stable i think now the concept of mono stable is clear and that is the difference between mono stable and what a stable multi vibrator yes ravi shankar a stable multi vibrator means what some sir some lag cam uh, 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 other students please let me know that everything is fine everything is fine and ask your friends to join the session because i am now i am going to explain each and everything about the symmetric trigger okay a stable multi vibrator means what one minute means we are giving zero automatically it will switch to one zero one zero one no trigger is required right so in next class i will explain this this is a a stable multi vibrator by using operational amplifier i think you have seen this diagram r c that is connected and that is the diagram okay sometimes register is connected here and this is the a stable multi vibrator or square wave generator okay then then next Now today we will focus on what bi-stable multi vibrator and symmetric trigger. So first of all, what is the bi-stable multi vibrator? Means first example of the bi-stable multi vibrator is a comparator. And comparator means by using the ideal operational amplifier, right? Yes. 
positive feedback with positive feedback now watch this diagram first is what ideal comparator there is no positive feedback and what is again av tends to what infinite tell me is it practically possible is it practically possible to have the gain infinite no it is just a ideal condition now we want to increase the gain up to what infinite and that's why we are giving the positive feedback because of positive feedback the gain will increase so what is the ideal condition ideal condition is let the operational amplifier the gain is infinite and we are having the uh, comparator comparator means if the positive terminal voltage is greater than the negative terminal vb is greater than va output is plus v set if the positive terminal voltage is less than va output is minus v set right and that is the we are having the only two outputs plus v set or minus v set and that is called only ideal condition so this is a ideal comparator by using the ideal operational amplifier then that is the characteristics when the va vb is greater than va means vi is positive because the vi is vb minus va positive terminal voltage minus negative terminal voltage so it is plus v set and when it is vb is less than va it is minus v set and we are having the two outputs only two outputs only so that is called what comparator transfer characteristics of ideal comparator okay now uh, uh, quickly i am going to discuss one question and then i will give you the idea about the symmetry trigger so that is the question my dear friends uh, on the basis of comparator uh, we are uh, we are having some questions like what uh, how to find the duty cycle very simple if the input to the ideal comparator shown in the figure is a sinusoidal signal of 8 volt peak to peak for example 8 volt peak to peak without any dc component what is the dc component of the signal zero 8 volt peak to peak is the value then the output of the comparator has a duty cycle of what is the duty cycle of this normally they are giving this type of questions if we are giving what will be the question if we are giving sinusoidal signal they will ask what will be the output simply square wave because output has only two levels plus v set and minus v set if we are giving the square wave again what will be the output square wave if we are giving the triangular wave again what will be the output square wave output is always square wave plus v set or minus v set it depends it will cross the reference voltage for example here the reference voltage is 2 volt that is connected to what negative terminal when the positive terminal voltage is greater than 2 volt output will be plus v set and when the positive terminal is less than 2 volt output will be minus v set or what zero plus 1 and zero what will be the duty cycle very simple question always draw a sinusoidal signal what is given here you student please focus on the board and use your rough pages and calculator now this is the sinusoidal signal 8 volt peak to peak means what is the peak value 4 volt what is the peak value 4 volt yes 4 0 4 what is the dc value positive area is exactly equal to negative area and that's why the dc level is 0 now what is the reference set here reference is 2 volt set the reference 2 volt this input is connected to positive terminal then what will be the output what will be the output now in case you have to find the duty cycle now this is that is the value if it is greater than plus v set greater than 2 volt then output will be plus v set when it is less than 2 volt output will be minus v set that is the lower level that is the output when it is greater than this is the reference level input is greater than 2 what is the output plus v set what is the output plus v set when it is less minus v set and that is the output square wave it is not a symmetrical square wave or symmetrical square wave this period is called on period and this period is called off period what is the duty cycle my dear students 1 by 3 yes 
Arindya Bos has given the prayers to Mari. Very good. Uh, good morning. So quickly, I am going to solve this question and then what is the symmetrical circuit? So this is the on, that is the off. That will be the question. First of all, find the value. Now, in this question, we are getting the square wave. It is always the output of this comparator square wave. This is the zero level plus V set and minus V set. High level, lower level. How to find the duty cycle? Now, watch this. This is called omega t. This is the scale is omega t and that is the cycle. Now, for this theta and for this theta, this is nothing but input signal is 4 sin of omega t. 4 sin of omega t. Okay. Now, when the omega t is equal to theta at this point, then the value of the input is 2. You can write at omega t is equal to theta, input is 2. You can write 2 is equal to 4 sin theta. What is the theta? Sin inverse of 2 by 4. That is nothing but 30 degree. 30 degree. So, this is 30 degree. So, symmetrical. This is 30 degree. So, what is the total angle from this point to this point? This is total angle is 0. This is pi. This is 2 pi. Means 180 degree. So, this is 30. This is 30. 180 minus 2 theta. You will get the conduction angle. This is called conduction angle. Pi c. 180 minus 2 theta. It will become 120 degree. 120 degree. So, for 120 degree it is high and what is the total angle 360 degree. What is the total angle from this point to this point that is nothing during one cycle what is the change in the angle 360 degree. So, out of 360 for 120 degree it is on and for remaining portion it is off. So, what is the duty cycle? Very simple answer what is the duty cycle? Duty cycle always remember new student in case of, K uh, in case of symmetrical you have to find the duty cycle. The basic definition of duty cycle is T on upon T on plus T off into 100 percent if it is asked in percentage otherwise simply T on upon T on plus T off. T on upon T on plus T off is nothing but time period T into 100 percent. Or always remember if the frequency is given then T is equal to 1 by F. T is equal to 1 by F. So T on upon T. Now if it is multiplied by omega t on upon omega t. My dear friend omega t on is called conduction angle and omega t omega remember 2 pi by t into t this is the omega so this will become 2 pi 2 pi means 180 degree. So in this question what is the conduction angle 120 degree so what is the duty cycle 120 degree and what is the total angle 360 degree and that is why the answer is 1 by 3 answer is 1 by 3 or symmetrical square wave. If the duty cycle is exactly 50 percent then there will be the symmetrical square wave. Right. Some student will say sir this is not a square wave it is a rectangular wave. Okay. What is the another name? A symmetrical square wave or what symmetrical square wave? No doubt it is a rectangular wave. Okay. No problem. So, this is a output. By default we are saying that it is a square wave plus and minus. So, this is the first question comparator. But my dear friends remember one thing. It is not pro, uh, not possible to design what ideal operational amplifier with gain infinite. To increase the gain, to increase the gain we are giving the positive feedback. So, what is the symmetry trigger? Actually the symmetry trigger is nothing but it is a practical comparator. Right? It is a practical comparator or operational amplifier with positive feedback. And positive feedback, what is the another name of positive feedback? Regenerative feedback. And that's why it is called regenerative comparator. This is the symmetry gun. Right? This is a bistable multi vibrator, sorry. And this is the symmetry gun. I'm one minute, one minute, I'm giving you. This is the symmetry gun. What is the symmetry gun? Regenerative. Because the positive feedback is called regenerative feedback. Regenerative comparator. Or practical comparator. Right. So, that is the basic diagram of what? Symmetry trigger. Okay, guys. Now, in this diagram, we are providing you the positive feedback. Okay. No doubt. Then, input is connected to what? Negative terminal. This is the negative terminal we are giving the input. Let this is called VB. This is called VA. Because of positive feedback, there will be the always the two output plus V set or minus V set. But remember one thing, my dear friends. Simply we are uh, saying that the plus V set is 15 volt minus V set will be what minus 15 volt. No. 
always read the question carefully it is possible that if it is given 15 volt it is given as 0 volt or 6 volt or 3 volt to watch the question carefully 15 and what is the value here right 15 minus 3 15 0 15 minus 6 that may be the value lower value and higher value you have to check this according to which we have to find the average value first of all second thing this is a basic diagram because there is a positive feedback vb is greater than va output is plus v set vb is less than va output is minus v set now which type of questions they may ask first upper threshold level and lower threshold level lower threshold level second hysteresis voltage what is the hysteresis voltage upper threshold minus lower threshold voltage third transfer curve transfer curve v naught versus vi this is the question upper threshold lower threshold transfer curve and so on now and uh, another type of question if we are giving sinusoidal signal or triangular signal or any other signal then what will be the output what will be the output so normally we are saying that it is a square wave converter output is always a square wave but remember with some condition with some condition so what are the conditions so these are the important points one by one i am going to explain each and everything about this diagram so what is the answer now watch this okay now watch this give me one minute now r1 r2 this is the vr this is called reference voltage r1 and r2 just like a potential divider and v not we are having the plus v set and minus v set Always remember, you can find the VB for one value plus V set and for second value minus V set. So, you can write the direct answer what is the VB. Uh, use this potential divider formula because this current is 0, current entered into the operational amplifier is 0. And that is why directly you can write V0 into R2 upon R1 plus R2. V0 into R2 upon R1 plus R2 plus vr into r1 upon r1 plus r2 no need to write the kcl vr into r1 upon r1 plus r2 vr into r1 upon r1 plus r2 that is the value okay guys now simple what is the values of v0 there are two values of v0 one is what plus v set another one is minus v set v0 is equal to if it is plus v set it will give you the upper threshold value what is the upper threshold value Put the value V set into R2. Everyone remember this formula directly. You have to use this formula. Plus VR into R1 upon R1 plus R2. That is the formula for upper threshold. What is the lower threshold? When we are putting the minus V set. You are going to get the lower threshold value. VLTH. Minus V set into R2 upon R1 plus R2 plus v r r1 upon r1 plus r2 so directly they will give you the numerical on this formula okay now it is a upper threshold it is a lower threshold my dear friend if you want the hysteresis voltage so vb1 minus vb2 upper threshold minus lower threshold will give you the hysteresis voltage now what about this term this term is common when we are subtracting this is cancelled out by that what is the hysteresis voltage two times of this value two times of this value means it is independent of what independent of vr independent of vr that may be the theoretical question this time that may be the theoretical question so what is the hysteresis voltage vh is equal to two times of v set r2 upon r1 plus r2 r2 upon r1 plus r2 that is the value Remember this, this is called hysteresis voltage. Now, next question, this is the upper threshold, lower threshold. 
this is the upper this is the lower that is important is this is important and next one is what transfer curve transfer curve how to draw the transfer curve direct now if suppose that is the diagram once you have the idea about the upper threshold and lower threshold then you can draw the transfer curve then you can draw the transfer curve transfer curve means v0 versus vi always remember how to draw the transfer curve first of all write down the upper threshold and lower threshold value for example let this is the upper threshold value it may be positive it may be both may be positive both may be negative one positive one negative let this is the lower threshold level upper lower and the gap between these two is called hysteresis voltage okay then my dear friends if the input is highly negative if the input is highly negative definitely when the input is highly negative means this is less than the positive terminal if it is highly negative means definitely it is less than the positive terminal and therefore initially the output is plus v set initially the output is plus v set if it is the plus v set it is settled at what higher threshold level that is upper threshold level if it is plus v set it is upper threshold why it is plus v set because it is highly negative negative terminal voltage is less than the positive terminal that's why it is positive and that's why it is a upper threshold level now the input will increase or when it increases it will cross the upper threshold level when it will cross the upper threshold level then it will switch from plus v set to what minus v set and that is the logic very simple very very simple thing means simply when it is highly negative what is the output when it is highly negative what is the output plus v set plus v set when we are increasing the input first of all it will cross the lower threshold when it will cross the upper threshold then the output will change that is called positive journey or increasing journey of the input and what is the change in the output so this is the plus v set and that is the journey i think now it is clear now it is clear my dear students so how we can draw when we are increasing the input when it will cross the upper threshold the output will switch from plus v set to minus v set second one when it is highly positive when it is highly positive for example the input is highly positive input is positive then what will happen if it is highly positive output will be minus v set because the negative terminal is greater than the positive terminal so initially it is minus v set if it is minus v set it is set at what lower threshold now when we are decreasing the input and when it will cross the lower threshold then the output will change when the input is highly positive output is minus v set we are decreasing the input it will cross the lower threshold then the output will change and then finally it is settled at what plus v set so that is the journey when input is decreasing now add these two and you will get the proper transfer curve add these two and you will get the proper transfer curve what is the transfer curve this is the increasing journey it is initially plus v set input increases when it will cross the lower upper threshold the output will switch input reach to its maximum now it is minus v set right during decreasing journey it will follow this curve but it will switch when input cross the lower threshold and that is called decreasing journey and you will got a loop and that is what in clockwise direction in a clockwise direction and this gap is called hysteresis voltage vh and that is called v0 versus vi transfer curve of the semi trigger and in transfer curve we are getting the hysteresis loop and that will be the question okay i think now it is clear everyone this is all about this particular diagram this is a very 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 important one very important one every year one questions on this diagram different types of diagram we are having so this is one type of question okay okay then so which type of questions for example let that is the diagram 
that is in a previous year gate paper very very simple they will change the diagram but every time watch the diagram carefully it is written here symmetrical circuit consider the symmetrical circuit shown below a triangular wave which goes from minus 12 to plus 12 here the triangular wave is connected here that is what is the peak value plus 12 and lower value is minus 12 is applied to the inverting input Assume that the output of the operational amplifier swings from 15 to minus 15. So, what is the supply voltage? 15 volt and what is the lower supply voltage? Minus 15 volt. Plus 15 and minus 15. The voltage at the non-inverting input switches between. Voltage at the non-inverting terminal switches between. What is the non-inverting terminal voltage? Everyone give me the answer for this question. Uh, new students will use what virtual short concept. Virtual short concept means the positive terminal voltage is negative terminal voltage, both are equal and that is why the output is minus 12 to plus 12, that is the first option, but this is wrong. Because there is a positive feedback, because there is a positive feedback, we cannot apply the virtual short concept, right. You have to find the upper threshold level and lower threshold level, upper threshold level and lower threshold level, yes, answer, Satyasri has given the answer, see. And very, very simple in operational amplifier, you have to apply what? Virtual short concept only. And you have to use the two values of V0. One is plus V set and one is what? Minus V set. Simply apply the uh, virtual, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No need to apply the virtual short concept. Simply apply the KCL at this point. KCL at this point. So when I am applying the KCL at this point, what is the current entered into the operational amplifier? Zero. Current enter into the operational amplifier is zero. What is the KCL? Let the voltage at this point is VB, VB minus 15 upon 10, VB minus of minus 15 because it is a minus 15 volt upon 10, VB minus V0 upon 10, VB minus 15 upon 10, VB minus of minus 15 upon 10 plus VB minus V0 upon 10, that is VB minus V0 upon 10, this 10 kilo ohm is equal to 0. I am simply writing the KCL. 10 is common, it will become 0. This will become VB minus 15 plus VB plus 15 plus VB minus V0 is equal to 0. This 15, this 15 cancel out. 3 VB is equal to V0. So what is the VB is equal to V0 by 3? Now V0 have two values. One is plus V set and one is minus V set. What is the plus V set? 15 minus 15. And therefore, what is the upper threshold? 15 by 3, that is 5 volt. And what is the lower threshold? 15 by 3 minus, that is minus 5 volt. What is the hysteresis voltage? 10 volt. The difference between these two, that is the 10 volt. This is all about this particular question. Very easy. So, this type of questions they may ask. Okay. Sometimes they will ask this type of question. They will connect what diode here. They will connect diode here. For example, very general question. Now tell me what is the upper threshold and lower threshold level for this particular diagram. Here we are connecting the VI. Ideal diode, assume the ideal diode. Yes, please. What is the upper threshold lower level and lower threshold level for this particular diagram? You have to find. That is the question. This is again same diagram, but here we are using the ideal, uh, ideal diode. This is nothing but ideal diode. Another type of question on symmetry here. Ideal diode. What will be the answer? So, upper threshold level and lower threshold level, right? This is the diagram. Here, a positive feedback is uh, given. D1 and D2, there are two diodes are connected. This is the 2K, 5K, and this is the 10K. You have to find the upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage. Okay. Now, in, a, this, in this question, there will be the two outputs. There will be the two outputs. 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ द वी बी पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल वोल्टेज इज ग्रेटर देन नेगेटिव टर्मिनल वोल्टेज वॉट विल बी द आउटपुट ट्वेल्व वोल्ट पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल वोल्टेज इज ग्रेटर देन द नेगेटिव टर्मिनल वोल्टेज देन आउटपुट विल बी द ट्वेल्व वोल्ट वेन इट इज द ट्वेल्व वोल्ट डी वन इज ऑन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पॉजिटिव डी वन इज ऑन बट वॉट अबाउट द डी टू डी टू इज ऑफ डी वन ऑन डी टू ऑफ वन द डी टू इज ऑफ दिस पाथ सो अकॉर्डिंग टू वोल्टेज डिविजन रूल This is the two k. This is the ten k, and this is the twelve volt. So, what is the voltage at this point? Then V B one will become ten divided by ten plus two into what twelve, and that is nothing but ten volt. So, one student have given the answer ten volt. That is the right answer. Right, Ravi Teja, you have given the ten volt. That is the right answer. Sora has given the ten volt. That is the right answer for this question. Ten volt. Now, when I am choosing. Negative voltage. What is this? When the VB positive terminal voltage is less than the negative terminal voltage. What is the output? Minus six volt. It is minus six volt is given here. Okay, no problem. What about this diode off? This diode is on. Both are ideal diode. This is on. This is off. This is on. Now voltage division between five kilo ohm and ten kilo ohm. Five kilo ohm and ten kilo ohm. This is ten. This is five, and this is what's minus six volt. So, what is the value of VB two? VB two will become ten divided by ten plus five into what minus six volt, and that is nothing but ten divided by fifteen, two by three. That is minus four volt. Minus four volt. Yes, that is the right answer. Good one, Ravi Teja, Saurab. Your answers are correct. Ten and minus. 4 volt now they will ask what is the hysteresis voltage so you can yes you can draw the curve also directly transfer curve in one stretch this is the case right and this is the 10 minus 4 what about the hysteresis voltage so this is the positive journey clockwise and that is the negative journey so this they will cross that the curve will remain same journal curve minus 4 and 10 volt and what is the hysteresis voltage 14 volt 14 volt that will be the answer for this particular question okay transfer curve ultimately they will ask transfer curve a uh, clockwise direction clockwise direction Okay, so this is one type of symmetry trigger. What about the another type of symmetry trigger? Another type of symmetry trigger is like this. Watch this question. In the previous question, we have given the input to which terminal? Inverting terminal. The input is connected to inverting terminal. There was a positive feedback. But in this particular question, the input is given to what? Non-inverting terminal. Here, the VI is connected. R1 is connected, R2 is connected, V0 is connected. Plus 10 and minus 10 volt. It is given in the question. Plus 10 volt and minus 10 volt. That is the plus V set and minus V set. And this is connected to ground, or sometimes they will connect what DC voltage here, VA, another uh, other than what zero voltage. Then you have to find the upper threshold level and the lower threshold level in this particular question. So two types of question only. So that is the another diagram and. Uh, Each and everything about this, how to find the values and what about the transfer curve? So please watch this. First of all, theory. Then we will solve numerical. Okay. Then. Now watch this question. Let like this is R one. This is R two. Generalize and this is V I is given. Let like this voltage is V A. Any D other than zero voltage. Let like this is the any D C voltage. Two volt, three volt, minus two volt, minus one volt. Always remember in this question. First of all, find the voltage at this point. Find the voltage at this point in terms of what V I. In terms of what V not, and then equate it to what V A, and then you will get the upper threshold level and lower threshold level. That is the method. Remember one thing: how we can find the voltage at this point? That is V not into R two upon R one plus R two plus V I into R one upon R one plus R two. What is the value of V not? Uh, what is the value of the V B? 
v naught. This is the value of the v b at this point. R two upon R one plus R two plus v i into R one upon R one plus R two. Okay. First of all, get this value. Then equate it to what v a. Equate it to v a. This is the v a v b, and now equate it to what v a. V b is equal to v a. When I am equating, you will get v naught r two upon r one plus r two plus v i into r one upon r one plus r two is equal to what v a. Now, from this, find the value of the v i. When I am finding the value of v i, I am giving you the method. This will become r one plus r two upon r one. V. First of all, subtract this value. So it will become minus V naught R two upon R one plus R two. This is the value. This is the value of V I. General formula. This is a general formula. Now, my dear friends, here the V naught have two values. One is what plus V set and one is what minus V set. Now put the value plus V set and minus V set, and you will get the two values of V I. Two values of V I. So what are the two values? So first of all, always remember what is the formula for the V I? R one plus R two upon R one into V A minus V naught R two upon R one plus R two. This is the standard formula. Now when the V naught is plus V set, what is the value of V I? It will become R one plus R two upon R one. Into V A minus V set R two upon R one plus R two, and if V naught is equal to minus V set, what is the another value of V I? R one plus R two upon R one V A plus minus minus it will become plus V set R two upon R one plus R two. Finished. We are getting the two values. What is the V capital A? It is any DC value. DC value. DC value. It may be what two volt, zero volt, minus two volt, minus one volt, or any value. V capital V. V I is a sinusoidal signal, or it may be what a triangular wave. Anything variable voltage V I. Now, once we are getting this equation, watch this. This is a very important one. Second and third. The second, the value of the second is less than the third because here it is sub, we are subtracting, here we are adding, and that's why this value is lower value and this value is higher value, and the lower value is called lower threshold voltage. This is called lower threshold voltage, and that is called what higher threshold voltage. Higher threshold voltage (VTH). Okay, one is the lower, one is the higher threshold level, right? Okay. Once you will get the general formula for upper threshold and lower threshold, lower threshold or upper threshold, we can so or higher threshold. I am saying that. So this is I am writing the upper threshold voltage, upper threshold and lower threshold. So this is the general formula, my dear students. Now, if you want hysteresis voltage, so subtract these two. When I am subtracting, what is the hysteresis voltage? Upper threshold minus lower threshold. V A V A will cancel out, right? Remember that this is the general term. This is cancel out. R one plus R two, R one plus R two, it is a cancel out, and you are going to get the hysteresis voltage two R two by R one into V set. Two R two by R one into V set. You can check this two R two by R one into what V set? Because when I am subtracting, this is cancelled out because it is a common. Two times of that R one plus R two R one plus R two is cancel out. You will you are going to get two times of R two by R one into V set first. Second, in ninety nine percent ninety nine percent in the ninety nine percent question, they will ask what when V A is zero, what is the upper threshold and lower threshold? When the V A is zero, what is the upper threshold, everyone, and lower threshold? When I am putting the V A is equal to zero, lower threshold will become. V A is equal to zero. This R one plus R two, this R one plus R two is cancel out. R two by R one into V set. That is the negative value. And similarly, what is the upper threshold level when I am making the V A is equal to zero? This R one plus R two, this R one plus R two is cancel out. R two by R one into what V set? 
one is negative value one is positive value and from these two value you can find a hysteresis voltage vh two times of r2 by r1 into v set yes this is independent of v two times of r2 by r1 into v set that is called hysteresis voltage finished very good morning uh hemant okay no problem uh PDF will be available on my Telegram channel. So everyone, new students, please join my Telegram channel. Please watch this question, and if any difficulty, then please ask. This is the most important one from the Simit Trigger Circuit. Okay. Now I am going to share the Telegram channel link. So new student, please join that so that you will get the PDF of this session. And two topics are very important: Simit Trigger by using two diagrams. Okay. and that is my telegram channel electronics by sanjay rathi the pdf will be available on this okay then ha huh, formula will vary no no uh, again there are ravi shankar there are only two diagrams in one case the input is given to what positive terminal in this case input is given to what positive terminal and in a previous case input is given to what negative terminal so there are two types of diagram only now in this case if the if this is connected to what va means va means 2 volt 3 volt 5 volt something so you have to use this general formula for upper threshold and for lower threshold but if the va is zero v capital a is zero if it is connected to ground then directly you can say this is the lower threshold and this is the upper threshold level and what is the difference so in 99% case they are giving this type of questions but if suppose they are giving va right if it is given it is not zero then you have to use this formula and that's why this is important this is important this is important if v a is given then you have to find with the help of this formula directly okay and remember connection always connection this is r1 this is r2 sometimes they will give you this is r2 and that is r1 you have to change the formula this divided by that minus r2 by r1 r2 by r1 remember this is this is this is this divided by that always left divided by right otherwise uh if you are uh, simply try to mug up the formula then it will become difficult for you okay so that is the question second type of question now finally try to understand what is the transfer curve for this diagram transfer curve very very simple one no transfer curve once you will get the upper threshold level and lower threshold level always draw the line right let this is the upper threshold level let this is the lower threshold level okay no problem now upper once you will get the upper threshold level and lower threshold level remember when the input is highly positive for example it let it is a highly negative let it is highly negative negative if it is negative it is connected to positive terminal that's why it is negative means this is less than what negative terminal voltage if the positive terminal voltage is less than the negative terminal voltage the output will be initially minus v set minus v set when the input uh, output is minus v set then to switch from minus v set to plus v set now the input will increase when the input will increase definitely at a particular time it will cross what upper threshold level and then the output will change so what is when when it is highly negative input will be negative that is the difference that is the difference between the previous curve and this curve in a previous curve when it is highly negative output was positive but this time it is negative minus v set now the input will change when it will cross the upper threshold level the output will switch from minus v set to plus v set when it is highly positive it will adjust at what plus v set it will adjust at plus v set that is called forward journey that is called forward journey now what about when input decreases when input decreases first of all when input is highly positive highly positive on x axis on x axis we are taking the input on y axis we are taking the output 
then it is positive that's why it is positive it is greater than negative terminal output is plus we set initially now the input will decrease and when during decreasing journey when it will cross the lower threshold level the output will switch that is the decreasing journey it will cross the lower threshold where input will cross the lower threshold output will switch my dear friend which type of curve clockwise or anti clockwise clockwise or anti clockwise yes separately just after the gate exam there will be the marathon session because uh, this is also important for what engineering services okay mathura jagtab just after what just after gate exam we, we are going to start what uh, session for engineering services right anti clockwise yes so remember if the input is connected to negative terminal it is a clockwise input is connected to positive terminal it is a anti clockwise अरे एक बात बताओ दैट शॉर्टकट शॉर्टकट रिमेंबर व्हेन दिस एंगल इज रोटेटिंग इन द एंटी क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन व्हाट इज दिस वी आर सेइंग दैट इट इज पॉजिटिव वी आर सेइंग दैट इट इज पॉजिटिव एंगल और व्हेन द एंगल इज रोटेटिंग इन द एंटी क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन क्लॉकवाइज देन वी आर सेइंग इट इज अ नेगेटिव तो सिमिलरली टू जस्ट रिकॉल दिस कांसेप्ट व्हेन द इनपुट इज कनेक्टेड टू व्हाट पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल here it is the input is connected then anti clockwise right transfer curve like this anti clockwise or when the input is connected to what negative terminal vi this is the standard diagram what about the transfer curve clockwise okay that is the there are two diagrams okay i think now it is clear right to just to recall just to recall if that is connected to positive terminal anti clockwise connected to negative terminal clockwise with the help of this angle anti clockwise we are taking the angle positive clockwise we are taking the angle negative that is the value inverting and non inverting terminal so these two are the very 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 important diagram guys now question on this type of diagram very simple question already i have given na? normally they are taking the va is equal to 0 so in this particular question va is 0 this is now r2 this is r1 and va is 0 and v naught is 10 volt and minus 10 volt so directly you can find the upper threshold level and lower threshold level if the va is 0 directly you can use this formula lower threshold voltage is given by minus r2 by r1 into v set and this will become r2 5 divided by 10 5 divided by 10 into what 10 minus 5 volt what is the upper threshold level plus r2 by r1 into v set r2 by r1 so r2 is 5 divided by 10 into 10 that is become plus 5 minus 5 and plus 5 okay minus 5 and or what what about the transfer curve anti clockwise what about the transfer curve anti clockwise now this is the upper threshold level this is the lower threshold level when it is highly negative it will be negative it will switch like this when it is highly input is highly positive output will be positive when the input will decrease, when it will cross the lower threshold, the output will change. This type of transfer curve. Okay. But that transfer curve is already given in the question. This is the right transfer curve, yes or no? This is the right transfer curve, anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction, what is the upper threshold level? 5 volt. What is the lower threshold voltage? Minus 5 volt. Finished. This is the minus 10, this is the plus 10 and that is the value. Yes, this is given. Yes, yes. Lower threshold minus 5, upper threshold plus 5. 
बट रिमेंबर वन थिंग वेन आई एम गिविंग यू द जनरल फॉर्मूला दिस इज द जनरल फॉर्मूला देर मे बी द डिफरेंट वैल्यूज दिस इज द फॉर्मूला राइट वेन आउटपुट इज प्लस वी सेट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर वैन आउटपुट इज पॉजिटिव वी आर गेटिंग द लोअर थ्रेश राइट समटाइम्स दे विल गिव यू वॉट समटाइम्स दे विल गिव यू different values suppose this is the 10 volt and this is what minus 6 volt and it will create confusion where we have to use the positive value or negative value yes or no yes or no guys no doubt it is a 10 volt minus 10 volt we are using we are directly using this formula minus we say minus r2 by r1 v set and minus plus r2 by r1 into v set what about the value where we are going to use the plus 10 or minus 10 uh, plus 10 or minus 6 if the different values are given different values are given then remember one thing different values are given then 10 volt if it is given minus 6 volt it is given then always use this theory for example this is the formula vi we are getting this value where we are using plus v set means here we are going to use the plus 10 volt means this when i am getting the minus value actually it is a plus v set so what is the general formula i can write minus r2 by r1 into what plus v set plus v set we have to use here plus v set or here actually it is used when it is minus v set so what will be the formula no doubt no doubt we are getting the positive value no doubt we are getting the positive value but here r2 by r1 mod of what minus v set mod of minus v set we can write it like that so minus v set suppose it is a 6 volt is given minus 6 volt is given we will use the 6 volt r2 by r1 into 6 volt i think this is clear to you everyone this is clear to you okay otherwise we are going to get the wrong answer so if it is the 10 is given if it is 10 is given upper threshold will become because this is a lower threshold value So if it is upper threshold is what one five divided by ten into what mod of minus six? Then it will become three volt. And what is the lower threshold will become five divided by ten my minus of minus v set. So what is this? Ten volt. Then ten ten cancel minus five. am i correct correct na these two values so we are not getting the information from this but here now it is clear 3 volt and minus 5 volt 3 volt and minus 5 volt this type of questions in exam hall be careful about all these things very small things but they will change the values okay now what is the use of this circuit what is the use of this circuit we are using the same diagram same diagram in triangular wave generator watch this diagram carefully in a triangular wave generator watch this diagram in a triangular wave generator this this watch this circuit same circuit here it is va is connected here it is a vb positive feedback is given va is connected r1 and r2 but in place of vi here we are connecting the vi then it is a symmetry trigger but here we are connecting the v not v not is connected here and this is called v not des it is a multi function generator because it is a, a we are giving the positive feedback to so here we are getting the plus v set and minus v set so it will give the square wave and here it is a integrator it will integrate so this is the triangular wave so in a triangular wave generator we are using this diagram symmetry trigger right now what is the use of this symmetry trigger with the help of this symmetry trigger we can get the upper threshold level and lower threshold level of v not upper threshold means it is a upper amplitude of the triangular wave and it is a lower amplitude of the triangular wave so directly you can write here directly you can write what is the upper amplitude of the output v not because directly it will give the upper threshold to so direct formula what was the formula uh R one upon R one plus R two, V A plus R two by R one plus R two. No. One minute. V 
ये दिस वन आर वन अपॉन आर वन आर वन प्लस आर टू अपॉन आर वन एंड दैट इज द फॉर्मूला दिस विल गिव यू वॉट लोअर एम्पलीट्यूड एंड दैट विल गिव यू द अपर एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द ट्रेंगुलर वेव डायरेक्टली इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉट वी ए हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द वैल्यू यस आर वन प्लस आर टू अपॉन आर वन इंटू वी ए माइनस आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू इंटू वॉट वी सेट इफ इट इज माइनस देन इट विल गिव यू द लोअर एम्पलीट्यूड लोअर एम्पलीट्यूड एंड वॉट इज द अपर एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द ट्रेंगुलर वेव सेम आर वन प्लस आर टू अपॉन आर वन वी ए प्लस आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू इंटू वी सेट ओके एंड इफ द वी ए इज गिवन इन द वी एज गिवन एज जीरो इफ दिस वी एज गिवन जीरो इन अ ट्रेंगुलर वे जनरेटर ऑलवेज यू विल फाइंड अपर फ्रेशो एंड अपर एम्पलीट्यूड एंड लोअर एम्पलीट्यूड डायरेक्टली माइनस आर टू बाई आर वन इंटू वी सेट दिस इज कॉल्ड लोअर एम्पलीट्यूड एंड अपर एम्पलीट्यूड विल बिकम आर टू बाई आर वन इंटू वॉट वी सेट दैट इज कॉल्ड अपर एम्पलीट्यूड एंड दे मे आस्क वॉट इज द स्विंग स्विंग इज Swing of the triangular wave is always independent of the VA. It will become just like a hysteresis voltage. It will become V set. Two times of R two by R one into V set. It is just like a hysteresis voltage. When we are going to get the inverted square wave, yes. When we are giving, uh, yes, yes. I will explain. Uh, I am going to teach that you have to uh, mock. in that in the mega mock test there was a one question so i'm going to solve this just after this session to so everyone please join that mega mock test and for link i just uh, just after that class 1230 i'm going to discuss all the questions that is in what mega mock challenge mmc okay if you want the answer then uh, everyone please subscribe or please install byju's exam prep app join that session from 1230 pm sharp you want link then join my telegram channel just after this session i will share the link of this that class okay just after this so first of all this is the swing to so in a triangular wave always remember it is just like a symmetric trigger if it is asked then always remember if they are giving this is a triangular wave you can set the upper threshold level and lower threshold level this is the upper threshold this is the lower threshold and upper amplitude and lower amplitude if the va is zero the upper amplitude will become r2 by r1 into v set lower amplitude will become minus r2 by r1 into v set just like upper threshold level and lower threshold level and that is the triangular wave that is the triangular wave directly you can draw now so that is the role of the symmetric trigger and what is the role of this vs here vs is connected vs for slope it will control the slope of the triangular wave this a for amplitude it is a for not apple a for amplitude right on this s is not for sanjay rathi this s is for what slope it will control the slope of the triangular wave that is a rising slope and uh, falling slope rising and uh, increasing and decreasing slope and it is it will control what amplitude if this va is zero then that is the case upper amplitude will be equal to what lower amplitude and when the vs is zero the increasing slope is exactly equal to what decreasing slope but if the vs is positive then my dear friends i am giving you one example when va is positive greater than 0 vs is positive greater than 0 then which type of triangular wave they will simply ask you the shape only this is the shape always remember if the va is positive then upper amplitude is high and that is the lower amplitude near to 0 the waveform will move upward the swing will remain same right and when the vs is 0 when the vs is zero the increasing slope is very high and decreasing slope is low increasing slope is very high means it will rise very fast that is the case asymmetrical triangular wave 
rise time fall time rise time and fall time this type of triangular wave this is called upper amplitude and that is called lower amplitude move upward okay right okay i think that is clear to you everyone yes in a clamper but 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 vs will change the slope vs will change the slope if it is zero increasing slope and decreasing slope are same symmetrical square wave if it is positive increasing slope is high decreasing slope is less if the vs is negative increasing slope will be less decreasing slope will be high and that is the case okay it a vs will change the slope and va will change the upper amplitude and lower amplitude but always remember the swing will remain same the swing because the swing is independent of va swing swing is independent of va so when we are increasing the va this is the upper amplitude and that is the lower amplitude and the swing swing means difference between upper and lower is always independent of what va that's why when i am increasing the va the complete waveform will move upward complete waveform will move upward but the swing will remain same when we are decreasing the va less than 0 the complete waveform will move downward but the swing will remain same swing will remain same so but this is the class on what symmetry trigger so i think everything is clear about the symmetry trigger and that basic concept of triangular wave is clear okay guys hope so you enjoy the session right now i am giving you one homework and give me the answer for this question on my telegram channel and this is a very very important already we have discussed this question on our mock test the frequency of the output for the circuit is what is the frequency of this signal and this is nothing but a triangular wave we have already we have changed that orientation only this is nothing but a a symmetry trigger circuit we are giving the input to the positive terminal this is r2 this is r1 this is r2 same diagram it is nothing but symmetry trigger circuit its output is connected to input of the integrator or output of integrator that is the v0 is connected to what input of this symmetry trigger and this is the v0 dash same diagram here we are getting the square wave here we are getting the triangular wave and that's why it is called multi function generator the frequency of the output for the circuit the frequency of the v0 and v0 dash will remain same here we are getting the triangular uh, square wave and what is the va va is zero and that's why directly you can say what is the upper amplitude and what is the lower amplitude directly you can find r2 by r1 into v set v set is not given you have to find only this v set is given 13 and r2 by r1 minus 13 this is the upper amplitude lower amplitude and that is the upper amplitude and what is the s vs is zero that's why the increasing slope and decreasing slope will remain same will remain same and the slope will become slope you have to find the slope because it depends r and c v set upon rc v set upon rc that will be the slope that is the rate of change of the output voltage is given by for positive slope it is v set by rc for negative slope it will become minus v set by rc that is the complete hint about this question in next session i will solve this question my dear friends this is a homework for you everyone give me the answer in my telegram channel on comments box okay guys hope so you enjoy the session now i think you have the command over symmetry trigger on both the diagrams everyone jo chinmay raguram ravi shankar heman और अदर स्टूडेंट्स एक बार तो यार बड़ा बड़ा जल्दी से हार्ट सेफ वगैरह सब भेज दीजिए अगर आप लाइक कर दीजिए सेशन को यहाँ भी भेज दीजिए कमेंट्स बॉक्स में अगर आपको चीजें समझ में आ गई एंड दैट इज व्हाट सिमिट ट्रिगर इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड ऑन वी हैव ओनली टू स्टैंडर्ड डायग्राम एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओनली ओके यस नो तो दिस इज अ महा मैराथन प्लीज ज्वाइन दैट ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट एंड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड एंड यू कैन गिव द मॉक टेस्ट गेट एंड ई टेस्ट सीरीज after gate exam you can start with what engineering service uh, for test series for engineering services but before gate exam try to give 4 to 5 full length mock test 4 to 5 full length mock test it will give you the confidence you will get the idea how to solve the msq numerical answer type question how to use the scribble pad how to use what virtual calculator each and everything so that is for you gate and ese test series get unlimited access to full length mock test subject wise test link is given in the description box 
Why? 60 plus tests are available here. Detailed mock analysis, virtual scientific calculator, and 4000 plus practice question, all India open mock test, and that is designed and curated by what? A great experts. So, hope so. And next session is on what? Please subscribe our channel so that you will get the notification. Rectific rectifier and precision rectifier. This time definitely there will be the question on what precision rectifier. Because from last five years there was no question. And this topic is very very important one. Electrical as well as electronics student remember. Get the command word precision rectifier within one hour only. In one shot we are going to discuss each and every rectifier. Okay. Theory plus numerical both. So you are on Baiju's exam prep. Thank you for attending the session. Subscribe like the session and share the link of this session. Thank you and good luck. Now, with the help of this QR code, you will get the uh, link of baijusexamprep.com as well as our telegram channel. You can scan this QR code.